Typically, it's a no-wake zone down here at 79, but apparently in the rain, those rules don't apply. And even here in the rain, it's still busy. In fact, the rain can't even stop the party down here at 79th. No matter what, we're still having a good time. Welcome back, guys, to the greatest show on Earth, and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I'm your host, Broncos Guru, in collaboration with our boy, Wavy Boats. And it's another Wavy Guru Productions back at the ramp. And today, if you can't tell, we're visiting 79th. So things have just gotten real. This storm's now hitting a little different. <laughs> and if you look in the background, you can see the wind is whipping, bro. It is going to be an interesting one as some of these boats try and come back in. We've got thunder, lightning, wind, rain. I mean, the rain's almost coming sideways, guys. Let's see how our guy does here on approach. And he looks to be all right. And you can tell the wind's going to blow him into the dock. So he should be okay on this one. But you can see some lightning striking there in the background. I mean, it's nuts down here right now. We've got a sentry, it appears, coming in as well. And let's see how this crew does. You're really going to have to compensate for this wind because this wind's going to grab you and just start carrying you from right to left across the screen. As you can see, you can see the whole water and current. The wind's got him. And they're going to miss everything here. He's going to have to back out of this one or at least put it into forward gear and come back in with a sharp bow first entry and try and reapproach the docks. But he's going to have to do something fast because the wind's going to carry him straight into the trees over here on the left. So he's going to go with reverse, which is not typically the one I would recommend because the stern is one of the widest points on the boat and you're putting that into the wind and current, which is still going to give you the most struggles when if you go bow first into this, you're going to have the most control, but they're at least going to prevent themselves from going into the trees and hopefully try and get this back over onto the dock. And man, this crew's found themselves in the same situation as our last boat. The wind and currents got them. They tried to make an approach and didn't even come close. I mean, as soon as they got near the dock, that wind just shifted them right away. So this crew's going to try and make their way back over. They're going to at least come in bow first, but I mean, they're going to have to completely reset on this one. They've gotten themselves so far out of whack. But I mean, this weather, <laughs> this is a tough one. If you've never tried docking in something like this, there's a lot going on. You really can't see all that well because of the rain. The wind is whipping right now, and... Tensions just get high because it's pouring rain and you want to get out of here, especially with the thunder and lightning as well. I mean, I guess not so much the thunder, but the lightning is not something you really don't want to be on the water with. And these guys are going to pull all the way out and I'm guessing we're going to see a full reset. And here we come back in and they're coming in a little hot this time. And part of that's probably got to do with the wind. It's at their back. So even if they're coming in at an idle, it's going to push them a little hard. And are they going to go for four? That's not the dock. I'd probably go for five if I had the option. But he can still make this if he comes heavy bow first in toward the dock. No, nope, we got the first toss. We're going to miss. And second toss. Did he get it on? I can't really tell from this angle, but he's holding on with a foot there. And we got a toss from the rear. Miss. Another toss from the stern, miss. And we go over three. And there we go, four times the charm. And now they should be able to walk this thing up. But it just kind of shows you the pressure you'll be under when you're trying to do it in these kind of conditions. But these crews should be good from here and able to get this thing on the dock. And the weather's finally starting to break on us a little bit. Now, when I say that, it's still raining, but you can tell from the trees in the background, the wind's calmed down a little bit. It's still there. You can see this boat's still moving right to left across our screen. And Cap's gonna pump the brakes, but I think that's gonna hurt them. Once again, you can tell here, the wind's got them now, and they're gonna miss three. So Cap's gonna have to reset this one up. And it's always interesting, too, when we have the bow rail like that. And we've got somebody trying to leap over the bow rail to get onto the dock. So Cap's going to reverse and try and get it set up one more time and see if they can compensate a little bit more for the wind this time. I'm not sure if this is going to be enough. We probably still need a little more reverse to come back. Unless we're going to try and let our guy right off the bow and walk this up. And that's what it looks like it's going to happen. He's going to go for it, and he's going to get off. 
And we're going to try them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch the reverse. <laughs> I definitely want my legs right there with the reverse going on. Our guy is struggling to keep this on the dock. And our crew here is excited to see the camera. But you're shot blocking us, bro. But it looks like we're going to be okay. Cat must have either put it in neutral or gave a bump of forward gear. And we're going to get this one put back over here. But let's see this crew coming up on approach as well. They're having what appears to be... I don't want to say transmission trouble. I can't tell if Cap's struggling or if the boat's just not wanting to cooperate on switching gears. And they're looking back, so maybe it's a mechanical issue. Yeah, maybe they're just looking back for lines. We're going to see. So we're going to make our approach. Got somebody on the bow. Got a stern line ready. And let's see how Cap handles this one. Looks pretty good. He's taking the slow and easy approach. As we already know, our wind's going right to left across the screen, so he should be pushed into the dock. And we've got this boat coming in on four, and that can make things interesting for the boat that's coming in on four. Because, as we can tell, the wind and current appears to have him a little bit as well, as it's pushing him towards the velocity. So he's going to back out, but our captain, the velocity, is backing out as well. Right here, it looks like he's struggling with something, though. And we had somebody on the dock, but they got back off the dock. So we're going to toss a line. But the boat's still going in reverse. So our guy on the dock's going to stop that momentum. And this Yamaha is going to try and make its way over to four. And... Actually, wow, that's pretty impressive. The Yamaha is going to try and go in front of the other boat, which on a day like today is quite the task, and it looks like they're going to make it in there. And the velocity with somebody up with a line on the dock should be fine. Ooh, <laughs> we've got the engine cowl banging against seven. It stopped raining. Things are a little nicer down here now. But it's also gotten a little busier. So Cap's kind of struggling. We've got a couple skis running around behind him as some of the rental jet ski companies are trying to bring their stuff back in. Oh, watch out! Cap! 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 And Cap sees him, but our guy in the skis is kind of just floating around back here. I mean, he's trying, I guess, trying to stay out of the way, but not really staying out of the way. So Cap's going to make approach again, this time on six. Oh, careful, you're in gear, Cap. Don't hit behind you, and the jet ski's behind him again. As soon as he starts trying to back up a little bit, now he's saying something to him. But Cap's getting frustrated, you can tell. Oh, careful, Cap, you're coming in a little hot. Oh, and he hits it. They're on, but Cap got a little scuff there and scuffed the engine cow. But they're going to be able to get out of here. And speaking of getting out of here, we're going to get out of here as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we've got Boats vs. Hallover, where man and machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet. And if you haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.